Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Check it out. It is the X8 Mini by Femi. You may have seen uh, unboxing, initial flight test. If you want to check that out, go ahead and check out the link to the series, which will pop up here in the pop-up. Also have the links to the drone and all the other videos in the series down below. You can check out that. I'm a little bit um, suspicious on the range on this thing, just because when we were doing the flight test in the park over here, same park, and this is the same place I do most of my range tests, so it's a good comparison here to like uh, DJI Mini and other drones like that. But if you remember in the initial flight test in this park here, uh, even just flying around me, going a little bit up high and stuff, it was already like losing connection. I was having some disconnection issues. Some were saying it's the cable. I really don't think it's the cable because whenever I'm at home just updating it, it never loses that video connection. So got the same cable, same setup. Uh, hopefully it's going to not disconnect. And just to let you know, it's a little bit more windy than usual today just because it's a little earlier in the day usually a little later that's why i do my my sunset range test it gets a little calmer but regardless i'd say it's like between 5 and 15 you know not going to go too high so we're not we're out of that high wind up there and we're just going to see how far we can get with the x8 mini let's put it up in the air and see what we can do Okay guys, so I'll have uh, the screen being recorded for you so you can see exactly what I'm seeing on the screen for this whole flight. Let's go ahead and plug in auto launch. And I just did an update actually today, so this is the latest update. And if you look into, I don't want to spend too much time here, I'm just um, flying at the normal flight speed which it comes with, which is 17.9 if you look at the top right of the screen. So. We're just going to get up there, launch ASAP here. I'm trying to get maybe one more satellite locked before we launch. We're at still at 100% power, 8.28 volts. Now, I should say that this is the lithium-ion battery still. Um, Femi tried to send me the lithium polymer pro battery, which is supposed to be a little better, but they couldn't send it. They couldn't ship it to Hawaii, so I'm just doing the test with the original battery. So I'm not expecting greatness with this, but let's just see how it does. I'm going to record in 4K and let's launch right away. There's kind of a man manual launch here. I'm going forward ASAP. I'm just going up a bit and flying full stick forward. Okay, now I know the wind is going to be nailing it out there, so um, and yes, we are flying kind of in the sunset. So you're going to see a little bit of interesting sun there. Let's just go over here in the field so we're not in the house. Just pitch the camera down a little bit there with my left roller so you guys can kind of see uh, through the glare there. But I'm just full stick forward. And as you can tell, guys, I'm going... How fast are we going? Up on the top we can see we are at uh, 45 feet height from the launch point and we're only going 14 miles per hour because we're fighting a few mile per hour wind right i'm gonna pick it up just a little higher turn to the right again just to avoid some things here and um, the wind is coming from its like front or front left i believe so just kind of want to be careful there and of course, we always want to be careful of what we're flying over. So I'm going to go around these folks. Let's see, go right in between here. Already getting a little bit of a low signal orange. I just adjusted my antennas. I pushed them forward a little bit. You want these antennas to be like perpendicular to the drone. So let's just turn to the left just a little bit till we get out of this um these structures here i'm going to go a little bit higher i don't want to go too high because the wind is kind of windy today so i'm probably going to stay below 100 feet from my launch elevation so a little bit of sun glare there in the camera and now yeah once i adjusted my antennas a little bit you can see that the video range got perfectly fine so what's our battery 87 percent already so that wind not the best day to do this, but 
just had to do it. So the wind is basically going to be influencing this test. So we're home free, no houses below it. Let's pick that camera up. We're just going to kind of head like directly towards uh, Molokini there. You can see that little tiny island way the heck out there. Kind of hard to get it centered. This drone had a little bit of a like a lag in the when you're trying to like turn the head left and right. Just seemed a little bit laggy and wishy-washy, a little bit slow. So, you know, maybe an option for those of you who don't really like uh, DJI, but um, definitely not as good in my testing as something like DJI, if you've, if you've watched my series on this. So hopefully they fix the disconnecting problem, I'm hoping, because um, I really don't think it's the cable, guys. It never does it. It never disconnected on me with a video until I did that flight test and the times it disconnected when, when I was really pushing it and it was using a lot of voltage so I think possibly it was just like an onboard maybe power glitch where it didn't have enough power to the video for a certain amount of time but anyway you can probably hear that wind in my mic it is not the best day here to do this um, let's just pitch the camera down just to see kind of what we're getting right and I'm going to go just a little bit higher because there are some treetops that I want to make sure I'm not going through. But I don't want to get high up in that wind. Sort of like 82 feet, 83 feet. And uh, while we're going out here, getting a little bit of flashing on the video. It starts to flash orange and then it might come back. Now it just went solid orange to like two bars. I'm just standing up here and there are some telephone lines there are basically some telephone lines and power poles I'm going through which I always go through with my other drones um, real quick want to try to zoom in here no nope, two fingers on the screen are, are not zooming in when we're recording so just going straight out well it's going straight really well and if you look at kind of the compass on the bottom left, guys, you can kind of see the tilting of the drone. See how it's tilting to the left a little? You got like that blue, blue-green um, transparent layer in the compass there. And you can kind of see how it's a little bit tilting to the left. And that just means there's wind hitting it on the left. So 71% and it's already surprising me, okay? So it's surprising me that we got this far rotating the gimbal up and down. Remember, I will have that 4K recording for you guys. So you can kind of see the quality. Now the FPV with this is not bad, but you can see the kind of like stretching on the bottom coming in. So it's just kind of like whatever the technology, technology they're using isn't nearly as good as far as clarity as some of the other technologies so that's pitched all the way down and did we slow down um horizontal speed no 16 15 so not like the little mini remember when we pitched down it would slow way down this one's not having that problem so that's good remember the mini would slow down to like 10 miles per hour when i did a range test on that getting some dang wind here there's a couple little valleys Boy, this is actually doing way better than I thought it would, guys. The Femi Mini X8. Oh my gosh, this is only the third charge, I think, on this battery. Wind is coming up. But we're still going about 15 miles per hour out. So as long as the wind is to the back of it, you know, we will be coming um, faster coming back and not have to really worry about the battery. This one will try to return to home when the battery, when it thinks the battery is too low to come back. So uh, we're going to have to, when we get to that point pretty soon, we're going to have to see if we want to cancel that. Not sure. Gimbal's still working great. I'm still full stick forward on the right stick. And only problem I'm seeing is that little stretch in the FPV, which is kind of always there. But we've had two bars of the FPE video signal for a while. 
the controller signal for the control frequency is full white up there on the top right guys um so we're approaching i think two miles now almost 900 700 not sorry 9850 900 feet is like a mile and three quarters still doing great i'm still able to move the gimbal no problem it's like we're gonna fly just over a very sparsely populated little area there if it makes it but um yeah you can see the gimbal has been pretty solid not really having any trouble with i've never had any trouble with this one with the gimbal being out of whack at all i did the initial level gimbal calibration at home and and never had any trouble so so far so good um i gotta say it's passed all my expectations already since it was having a little bit of trouble in the uh the flight review but that could have just been because the antennas were pointing the wrong way when it gets over your head you know you're not getting good signal at all if your antennas are straight up so that could be it with this one just keep your antennas super perpendicular to the drone and you may not have you know those problems low battery for rth please fly please fly carefully i'm going to cancel it so same like dji it lets you cancel that we are at 50 percent um i want to at least get like maybe two miles so two mi a mile would be five thousand 280 feet so that times two is um, times two is what ten thousand four five hundred and um, do the math 240 feet so okay that's enough for me we're 48 percent power let's go ahead and return to home so I'm letting off the stick and I'm pressing return to home. We just need to slide it into the box. So it's gonna go up just a tad to get to 98 feet, I guess. And then we're gonna come on home. So very impressed, look at this. Still able to use the gimbal. Aside from that little stretching in the FPV, we didn't lose signal guys in the video none of that stuff so that was pretty darn awesome so if you look at that compass again so that would have been about two miles i've had that up on the screen i'll have it up there just so you guys know exactly the footage we went and the mileage and if you guys want the kilometers i'll put that up there as well so pushing it again as usual right 44 percent we I think we returned at like 49 but i'm pretty confident that it has so much wind to its back that we're going to be fine because look at the speed it's coming back it's coming back at like 20. you know what i mean so it's almost like i may want to just take over and go faster because what's happening is what it might be doing is if it starts going faster than that 18 or 17.9 it may be trying to be putting on the brakes a little and using extra power like you know pitching back a little so it doesn't go so fast um, if we kind of get to that point where it's really getting low i might go ahead and just like switch into sport and just book it back with the wind but it looks like we're going to be okay i mean we're at 40 percent. let's see how long it takes to get down a couple percent compared to how we we're going out since we got that we should have that wind to our back gimbal is still working fantastic and that stretching on the bottom i don't know that could just be like an android thing i haven't used this with an apple device yet so we're at 39 percent so it looks like it's taking a while to come down in battery power so i think we're going to be fine 38 Hmm, should I switch into 
sport and just book it i don't know this is always a thing with me as i never know what's going to use less or more power but um you would think if you've got the wind to your back and you switch into a manual faster flight where it's not being it's not limiting its speed with the gps then you may actually just be able to kind of float with the wind a lot better you know utilize that wind pushing you back yeah gimbal is just absolutely fine you guys be the judge of the camera the video definitely to me it's nowhere near as good as um say like the mini 2 4k because these guys claim it's a 4k but just didn't look that great in the initial flight test in the park but you know to some of you it may look good there we go there pointing down checking it out we're still quite a ways away almost 7,000 feet away but we're at 34 percent um let's tilt that camera all the way down so you can kind of see how it's going hey man Hi. what's up will hey it's will <laughs> everybody remembers you in one of my um, parachute videos <laughs> well you say hi will to everybody Right on, Will. Thanks for stopping by, man. I'm doing a range test right now. I finally only found your channel just a few days ago. Found what? Your channel. Oh, my channel? Really? Yeah, Did you see the... What? This is a YouTuber I know. <laughs> this is my second time meeting him. Really? What's up, man? Hey. How's it going? Yeah, Will was in one of my videos back there. Yeah. Um, like a few months ago, we were, we were dropping parachutes from drones and yeah. seeing how much weight they could carry. Oh, and he was helping me out. Please stop cussing. That's cool. So guys, I'm in kind of the middle of shooting this video. So if you could give me some little bit of space. Nice to see you again though, Will. Alright, so here we go. We got a 29% and it turned orange. I'm not hearing any beeping yet let's make sure our volume is up yes and we really just want to make sure that we're not going down in vertical speed it looks like we're doing good actually i think we're going to be fine 27 percent um maybe about half a mile away a little more than half a mile so does look like the the drone is kind of like strafing left to right you see that as it's coming home for some reason it's doing that that's kind of interesting it's like adjusting its gps point i've never seen it do that before and you can see you can see how it's tilting in the compass you see that it's tilting left then right it may just be hitting some wind but man, we're at 25%. We're almost back. That was great. We're still maintaining our vertical height, which is right about a 900 feet. It's like 98 feet. So that's the return to home altitude I have set. So we are going to be just A-OK -okay with this one. So see, I didn't want to push it too hard because we were going into the wind and also um just because it was so windy today you know but still that goes to show you how far this thing could go man i am definitely blown away this thing did way better than i thought it would be i'll say it again just amazing okay what's it doing now still coming home but it's it's definitely hitting some wind there there's the park i'm at and you can see it just like rolling left to right there we're gonna be able to see it pretty soon you see it yeah it should be right okay coming on back we got so this will be pretty a pretty good range test man not bad at all Nice. Coming right overhead here. 
Oh, it's kind of hard to see in the sky because it's white. If you guys want an incognito drone. Landing pad not detected. Yes, I don't have a landing pad down. Let's turn the camera down. Little bench here. Let's just see where it lands. Remember, I launched from right here. Looks like he's going to try to land in the grass there. Maybe we'll try to catch it. Do a little catch landing on this one. You can see it's facing towards the home still. Let's see if we basically, yeah, we can still push up. So if we don't want it to land right there, you know, we can still do some stuff. Uh oh, now it's taken off. <laughs> Let's just try to catch it with our hand. Right underneath here, pulling down still on the controller. There we go. Just holding, holding down until it powers off. Awesome. So that was basically, what are we at? 14% power. So what a great range test. Let's go ahead and sit down, do a little pros and cons with this thing. And that was dang cool. So we landed at just about 14%. Definitely want to turn this thing off. Definitely not a zero to percent flight, right? <laughs> so we didn't get it down to zero. And that's only because, um, like I was saying, it's just, it's just a little too windy today, a little too risky. If it was a super calm day, I'd probably push it a little more. And it wouldn't have shown the low at the 40 or 50% battery where it was out there if it was calmer because what it does is it um, takes the voltage draw and so it's dropping per the voltage it's showing you the percentage and so if there wasn't that wind it was fighting that percentage would have been higher the farther I was out if it was a calmer day and then we could have pushed it a little farther but we did have that wind helping it on the way back remember it was about 14 15 miles per hour on the way out there and then it got up to like 20 coming back. So probably could have just taken off the return to home and floored it back at a higher speed. And that's kind of like up in the air if that, if that really helps or not, um, especially in a variable wind area like this. Because if you think about it, if you're just pushing full throttle forward and it's just going and the wind's just hitting it at the back, it's just kind of like floating with the wind as long as it can kind of keep its... Uh, altitude right basically ramp the motors up to keep its altitude so that's going to waste more power and but you're going to be going faster and with the wind so it's kind of a trade-off i guess but i played it safe that time down to 14 percent we had no video hiccups aside from that kind of smearing in the video on the bottom when you kind of pitch the camera down and that's kind of what this does anyway with this android phone but i couldn't tell any problems with video signal all the way out there it had two bars all the way till we turned around, so no problem there. Again, this is the same spot where I do like my Mavic Mini tests. I gotta say, this is up to par with, with them, aside from the quality of the FPV video. Definitely not as good FPV video, uh, not nearly as good as DJI. You'll see the 4K too. I like to just do the 4K, even if it uses a tiny bit more power. Just so you can kind of see like if if you wanted to get distances but you still wanted to shoot video kind of what to expect you know and with all that going on all the power the 4k was using the wind and this thing going out there that far it kind of blew me away to be honest i was not expecting that so more power to the femi x8 even though some of the features it has uh, didn't work as well for me not like those ai features anyway guys i hope you enjoyed that uh range test of the femi x8 don't forget this guy is down there in the description down below uh, and also the series will have been up there popping up so you can see the series of the unboxing and the flight test testing out all those advanced functions and tracking and all that stuff also have the gear i use my cameras and everything bags loving this bag here just a fantastic camera bag. I use this for all my mini drones and all my camera gear whenever I'm shooting. So I'll have all that down in the description too, down below if you wanna check that out. And hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.